Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. We finished the Shale Bridge Cradle, sad, 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 but what can you do? It's time to move on to day eight in the city. At the moment, we're following Laurel through Old Quarter. So, let's get started. I don't know what happened at the spawn point. I know that everyone runs away from Laurel. I remember that. And I'm pretty sure that there are no enforcers out in the street today. So we've completed Go to the Shale Bridge Cradle to see what you can learn about the Hag. The Cradle is an old quarter near the dock, gate to the docks. And our new objective is follow Laurel's ghost to see where it leads you. We have notes for the Pagan Favors and the Hammer Favors. Our landlord's blackmail. For some reason, the Keeper Door Glyph and Shale Bridge Cradle map notes have not disappeared. And we've got the Fogarty note, even though we already broke into his shop without killing Jimmy the Knife. So everyone runs away from Laurel, as you can see. We made it out of the cradle. Follow me. I'll take you to the place she buried me. Bring my blood with you. So as I thought, everyone runs away from Laurel, and there are no enforcers in the street. I've lost sight of the ghost. Now what? Better find her. You still have my blood, right? We'll need it to remove the marks. Oh my gosh! Where's the damn watchman? So since we're here, I'm just gonna bounce upstairs right quick. I'm going to get the gas arrow from the overhang and the fire arrow out of the fence's fireplace. I go find Laurel. What's all this? Get away! Twill, twill be safety soon. There's the gas arrow from the overhang. I have agent. No, not yet. I just hope nobody comes upstairs. I could be in trouble. There's actually very little loot to get this time around. So let's read the old quarter crime report for yesterday. City Watch crime report, District of Old Quarter. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of Old Quarter. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Three items of valuable property were reported stolen. Four locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority, signed the Office of the Commissioner. Uh, is there... I think there should be something here in Hawkner's house, but maybe not because my note about Hawkner is gone. His broadheads are still here, but... Oddly enough, there's no vintage bottle of wine this time. How strange. Ah, well. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, will ya? So everyone's still in a panic over Laurel. You're tired, but don't leave me. We'll be there soon. Get away! Oh, there's a watchman right there and I'm certain that's getting caught. So let's reload and maybe let's take the rooftop access. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, will ya? 
Oh, I did already get those. Okay. That's enough. Uncle! Uncle! He's just looking at Laurel and he's in a panic. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, will ya? But I do need to get into the tavern. Did you get lost? That's okay. Come on. It's not that much farther. But it was right here. Seems quiet now, but... Too many shadows. Something could hide here easy. Run, you fool! Are you even looking? This isn't a drill, you know. Well, no one's alerting to me so far. Let's try and get into the tavern. Oh, see, he saw me and he recoiled from me. I think it might be better to try and loot old, the rest of Old Quarter once I'm done with Laurel and her business. Let's climb up here and take the roof access to Fort Ironwood. There aren't any enforcers this time, that much is good. So we can get that gas arrow. Here on the other side, just climb down. Truth. Where is she? Brothers, two arms. Help! Well, I don't think that was good. Everyone runs away from Laurel, but she didn't kill anybody like the uh, enforcers do. So that much is good. Yeah, this will work just fine. I just need to be a little bit more careful once I get I have not yet <laughs> over the passage. So, let's save here. Grab my gas arrow. Hey! I was going to say, why isn't he running away yet? My brothers aren't needed here. Now that we're down on ground level, let's grab the moss arrow and, well, I was going to say link back up with the ghost. Should be good to do it now. So she went into Fort Ironwood, so we need to follow her. The only thing I'm missing is some loot in the Old Quarter Tavern, which I'll get after I'm done in here. She's gonna head down to the catacombs. We are beset, brothers to arms! Everyone's still gonna run away from her, which is fine. Gives me an opportunity to rather easily clear the front hall while everyone's running away from her. You're tired, but don't leave me. We'll be there soon. So here in the main hall... Oh, come on. 
We've got the usual two copper coins in this bowl. 25 each. Over on this table, we have a bottle of fine wine worth a hundred. And I think that he's pulled at least one of these guys. Yeah, the one who patrols upstairs. So let's clear over here right quick. Need to get around this guy to get his water arrow. Then I need to get upstairs to get the two holy waters, and then I'll be ready to head to the catacombs. Yep. Ah. I chose the worst possible spot to park. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> we'll climb up behind him. Think if if there's nothing, there's a strange nothing. It was only my imagining. It was nothing true to see. I don't need to take that green alert, so I won't. Think if I just move sooner, I should be fine to get to that shadow before he turns around. Well, let's do that. <laughs> there we go. Later, bro. Now let's get the holy water from up here. And let's follow Laurel into the catacombs. Who has made that noise? I was gonna say I... Knew I could get over the edge. So let's climb the wall, move over, then climb down. Uh-oh. Well, he did okay last time, made it all the way to the ground, but looks like I'm not going to get that lucky this time. It's never actually easy, is it, folks? Something always happens. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Now, Fort Ironwood is relatively empty, as I'm sure you've noticed. There's no priest up here. 
There's no one else out here in the main hall, so... With everything up to this point clear, let's follow Laurel into the catacombs. There's very little to get down here anymore. I better get someplace soon. I'm starting to lose patience. She's heading right. I'm gonna head left. Get the water arrow out of the grate next to Lady Olivia Bafford. I need to get the fire arrow out of the furnace in here. Which reminds me, I need to get the fire arrow out of the graveyard furnace too. I almost forgot that bad boy. We're back to one haunt and one zombie back here, which is a much easier setup if you ask me. Although I do need the zombie to give me his back so I can cross. Nab the fire arrow, very good. I'm pretty sure the keeper storeroom doesn't respawn anything, but... Whoa! I need to avoid that green alert from the zombie anyway. Alright, let's head in here now, just to be certain. Yep, nothing in here. The zombie population below us seems to be as healthy as ever. I guess the note about the map of the cradle is still there because the map of the cradle has respawned. Got that with no alerts, that was awesome. So let's do the better descent I found last time. Attach to the wall, get to the shadow, climb down. And here we are, right by the exit. I don't think there's any other loot down here. There wasn't last time. Sounded like bad news all around. I'd better be more careful. I'm pretty sure that silver candlestick is the only piece of loot still left, but... Let's descend. Let's keep a better eye on the zombie this time. Let's be more careful of the haunts, too. <sighs> so with the silver candlestick, I'm pretty sure that's it loot-wise for the catacombs. Oh, we've got a stationary haunt right here this time. Oh, and there's Laurel. Well, 
I'm gonna probably gonna have to climb over Ramirez's coffin to get her to move again. There we go. I guess haunts aren't afraid of little girl ghosts, which is fine. <laughs> so I'll just creep down the stairs. For some reason, I thought I remembered the undead clearing out, too, but I guess they don't. Well, Laurel kept moving, at least. And I got into the room just fine. need to follow her around back. Which actually might be kind of hard, but it shouldn't be that bad. Let's move from niche to niche as the zombie allows me to. There's another one. Yeah, that's a problem. There aren't any good shadows to hide it over here. And if he, uh... chooses to look over to that part of the room at the wrong time... Well, it's bad news for me, to put it mildly. I think this is a shadow here. Not perfect, but maybe enough. If the guy in back is cooperative. Which, he wasn't. Just need him to move up to the other side of the pillar. Long enough to get back there. But he doesn't seem inclined to do that, so... Oh, fuck you. <sighs> Let's deal a bit more directly with the guy on this side. Just wait till I'm certain I'm dropping in behind him. Do the smart descent over here the same way I did to get out in the first place. That's not an alert, that's just muttering. You can tell by his animations. Alright, now let's creep back here. Roll on in. Let the Book of Names record that on this day did Translator Gamal take the name of Interpreter Gamal 
and begin to read the prophecies. Let her eyes open to read and to see. Let her tongue speak the words of the glyphs. I shall see the unseen. I shall speak the truth. Interpreter Gamal, what's wrong? Oh, look. No, no. Curse her stinking, rotting bones. You think you can snare me, trap me with your secrets? I am secret, kept for decades. You scratch out glyphs and think you have them, but I wear them, drink them, breathe them, know them far better than you. I am glyphs now and for all time. I'm me again. She can't use it anymore. Finally, now you see me. My skin, my bone as I am. You will not live to thwart me. I have gathered all I need. Talismans, tomes, artifacts, writings. I have them beyond your grasp. I trace, I discover, I read. And soon I shall come to the last of all this that you seek. rip a few pages from the book of names. You did it. I knew you would. The Grey Lady, she buried my body here where no one would ever find it. She put those marks on the grave so I couldn't leave. Then she made herself look like me. But now the marks are gone and she can't use my shape anymore. And I'm finally free. Oh, I have to go. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. So that's that. That completes the objective. Follow Laurel's ghost to see where it leads you. Our new objective, Translator Gamal, the hag in disguise, is the one you've been after this whole time. Return to the Keeper Library to inform the Keepers. And we have a restriction back, which is the keeper restriction. And the, looks like the door glyph note finally disappeared. Anyway, gotta get back out past all the undead. But I think the easiest way is probably up. Just need to get around one zombie to get to the center and climb the wall. I need to get to the graveyard to get that fire arrow I missed. And then I guess I can just take the graveyard exit out to Old Quarter. Damn, too slow. Have to admit, I was worried about that, <clears throat> but oh well. Damn. Damn. 
These little bastards are really giving me some trouble this time. You never know with a random patroller. Fast enough. Good. I'm gonna wait till I see the haunt. Move out behind it. This zombie's gone, at least. So, back to the main level of Fort Ironwood. Out to the graveyard. Right here to get one fire arrow I missed. Tried to miss anyway. Thought about missing. Whatever. <laughs> it's right there in the furnace. And in the interest of simplicity, I'll just take the graveyard exit out to Old Quarter. Fort Ironwood is already clear. We just have the uh, tavern in Old Quarter to clear, and then Old Quarter will be clear as well. <coughs> no enforcers, and with Laurel's ghost gone... Day 8 should be a lovely respite compared to the last two days. I don't know why R. Hockner decided to stop extorting the Old Quarter Tavern today, but he did. The note's gone. There's no vintage bottle of wine. I just need to make my way out of here. Looks like the panic is over. Yeah, I don't see anyone around here either. Let's hit the tavern now. We're allowed to be in here, we just... We just can't get spotted stealing the one piece of loot. This jade goblet off of the bar. Worth 75. Very nice. Don't bother begging. I rarely carry coin. Let's make sure I can get out to the street without getting nailed by anybody. Oh, that's just a peasant. And now we're finally free of having to worry about them. Notice there's no enforcer guarding the way to Stone Market this time. So. Let's head this way. Stone Market proper first. Our eventual mission is in Aldale, so we can do the loop beforehand in whatever order we wish. So this should be significantly easier than my last visit. Thou shalt regret thy trespass. What is he in a fight with? <laughs> not me, I don't think. No, he's not fighting me. Bees? 
Oh. Uh, Pagan. Well, damn. This isn't gonna be any easier than it used to be. I'll find you, and that's a promise. Not with hammers and pagans out to kill each other. How much farther can I run? Damn it! I hate this shit! Who thought this was a good idea? Honestly. Well, at least it's not me. Alright, well. Nothing for it but to. Got my moss arrow. Dead. Poor sucker. Got my other moss arrow. Let's go get my gas arrow. Before anything else crazy starts happening back here. Funny noise for this time of night. Good grief. Two broadheads, silver coins in the safe. The guy upstairs has been drawn by the noise in the streets. There's not really any way to avoid the alert from the door closing. It's like they were just bound and determined to turn Stone Market into a clusterfuck, no matter what. Damn it. Oh, none of them have a key to the stone cutters. They all want to go in. But if I don't unlock it, looks like they're all gonna congregate in that corner. Well, that's useful knowledge, isn't it? I can just get in here. No! Oh, he's blaming me for some kind of murder. Damn. Well, that's okay. One guy's much easier to deal with. If everybody's congregating over at the front door, then I ought to be able to get out the balcony door after going through the stone cutters with pretty minimal trouble. So, 50, uh, pile of silver coins worth 50, ruby worth 125, upstairs, copper ring on the table worth 25, right, left, left, right. No, you're here now. Okay. I think most everybody is still elsewhere, so... There! Whatever it is, it's still there! Uh, Garrett got stuck in the wall. Why did it spawn hammers and pagans into the streets together? And why do they still blame me for every single dead body they create? That's what I'd really like to know. Who's hiding there? Do I know you? All right. Well, I made it down on this side, which was the first thing I wanted to accomplish. Let's see if I can get my three gold coins out of the donation box. Good. Can I get my fire arrow? Yes. They don't alert, thank goodness. Let's get my water... water arrow from this side. Let's 
Let's visit Bertha right quick. Garrett. Sell her my metal and gems for 3600. <laughs> That's very nearly all of it. That just leaves the watch station. Of course, I have to manage to get there. Let's read the crime report. City Watch Crime Report, District of Stone Market. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of Stone Market. Zero citizens were murdered, zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head, zero items of valuable property were reported stolen, five locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch Authority, signed the Office of the Commissioner. Let's head in here. Oh good, someone's drawn him away. So I can get two broadheads and the silver with no trouble. And with that, Stone Market proper is clear, and we're ready to head to the plaza. Keeping the door locked was a pretty good move. That made that much easier than yesterday, considering the game managed to turn the streets chaotic after all, even though the enforcers were gone. Not gonna lie, that makes me a little bit bitter, but only a little. All right, let's grab this moss arrow. Let's go ahead and clear the tavern. Up, right, left, just like usual. Done this so many times. Almost feels like clockwork. There's definitely a patroller upstairs, but... I think I might have a stationary downstairs guard again. Yes. I him, no. Yes, I do. I had to do it their own way. It would save them a lot of trouble, a lot. If they just listened to me in the first place. Alright, we'll wait for him to face the front door again, and then get our two copper coins. Bam bam, 25 each, like usual. Very good. When he turns around again, we'll hop the bar and get the wine bottles. And we'll be done. We'll head out. Two bottles of wine, 100 each. And he just kind of got to use the tip of his bow. Back up just enough to see it. Wait to watch the turns. He's diagonal now. Now he's facing the front door. Aha! Oh, I was I wrong. I had moved faster than I thought. I thought he had made a full turn already, but... <sighs> oh. Did I just see... Uh... Oh, clown shoes. You've got to be kidding me. Well, it doesn't like me pushing W right now on the load screen, but I gotta try and get back to hard cover. Are you kidding? Oh, everything's broken now, except it is still recording. I'm reloading the save at the entrance to Stone Market Plaza. The game screwed me. Because, uh, what it does is, if you save while Garrett is crouched or wall flattened or something like that, when you reload the save, he starts out 
uncrouched and unflattened, and then immediately goes to the position instead of just starting in the position, which would which would make more sense. But exciting. Anyway, let's do the bottles first this time. They're harder than the coins. Remember, the tip of the bow is over his left shoulder. So when it swings left, his back is to me. I'll meet up later with the boys. Have myself a good one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There we go. That was perfect. Now we can wait for him to turn again, get the coins again, and be caught up. Bye, fools. We're nearly done. This is the second to last time we'll come here. Almost makes you sad. Until you realize that with the cradle done, the high point of this game is done. And that when you finish this game, you're going to play Deus Ex. Kind of takes the edge off. All right, I don't think there's any fighting going on in these streets today. Thank goodness for that. Let's open up the Keeper's storeroom, get the silver. I didn't want that. I never want that, and Garrett almost always tries to pick it up. All right, let's go get Mr. Brent's purse. I don't know why this watchman isn't here. But he's not. What about the one who goes over here? <laughs> All I see is ladies. <laughs> Come on, G. There you go. Mr. Brent should still be gone. He must he must die in the clock tower accident. It's the it's the only way I can make sense of his disappearance, but if it means I don't have to worry when I try to steal his purse anymore, then it's awesome. Sorry you had to die and all that business. Anyway, we got two more moss arrows to get. The one at the bottom of his stairs, and the one outside the Keeper Library. Of course, the Keeper Library is our next destination. Oh, dearie. Hey, watch it. You shut your mouth. Something move? Alright, this guy is still here. 